how to add product categories in Shopify tutorial. So go ahead and open your desktop browser. Make sure that you are logged in into your Shopify account. And once you are in the Shopify homepage, go to the Tools tab on the left side of the screen and then click on the Products tab. First thing that we need to do is to identify the categories that we need to create. So simply tap on this and as you can see, I have here some serum, face mask, and some accessories. So I can categorize my product list into skincare products and second is accessories. So of course, in your case, it will be completely dependent on the product list as well. If you are selling different kind of shirts, tops, and dresses, you can do clothing, or it can be anything else. It could be electronics, furniture. Again, it's all up to the products that you are selling. So once you identify the categories that you will be making, we need to create the pages first. So to do that, go to the side panel here on the left side, click on the online store, and under this category, click on pages. Now to add pages, click on this add pages button on the upper right corner of the page. And here you just have to input title. So as I mentioned a while ago, I'll be creating a category for skincare and accessories. So let's type in the skincare first. Under the content section, you can add statements in order to market the specific product category and to enhance visibility and drive sales. You can use the font styles, the text formatting, you can even add tables, images, and videos. This is all up to you, just so you can market the category. Now, below the title and the content tab, there is a setting for search engine listing preview. And what we need to do is to tap on this edit website SEO. Let's just type in skincare products. And don't worry, this title will not affect the title for your actual page. This title is just how the Google search engines sees your Shopify category page and make sure that you don't miss this step because a lot of people actually miss out on this. Google search engine or any search engine actually is a free traffic source for your Shopify store. So make sure to capitalize and utilize on that as well. Never miss this step on any category and page that you make. Now below, you can add a description for the search engine view. So for example, let's type in skincare product list from this sample web. As you can see, this is how it looks like when people search for skincare products using Google or any web and your page shows. So once you're done with this, simply tap on save. And the next thing to do is to make another page for your other categories. So to make another page, simply tap on the duplicate button on the upper right part of the screen. This is a faster way than doing it all over again. So this title block will show, just change this to the name of your next category. In my case, it's accessories and then tap on duplicate. Since it's a duplicate, this is the exact same thing that we did a while ago. So go ahead and edit the content the search engine listing preview details, make sure that it is connected and aligned to your category. So just continue this process until you complete the pages for all of your categories. So if you have five categories, you will be making this process for five times. Now these pages that we have is currently empty. As you can see, if you click on the view page for a preview, it has no product listed and it is almost blank. It's just a title and a description. So next thing to do is to add the categories tab to our main menu. So go to the left panel again, click on navigation. It is right under the pages tab. Now in this page, you will be able to access the menu section. We have here the footer and the main menu. And again, we will be adding a category tab to our main menu. So click on that one. Here, as you can see, I currently have home, catalog, and contact. Now, to add the categories, tap on this add menu item. This setting will then show on the right side, and then let's name this category. Just type that in. Now, click on this one, this one below, and then choose home page. After that, just click on add, and it will then appear on your menu item list. 
If you want this to be the first menu on your homepage, just click on the dots on the side and then drag it to wherever you want it to be. So in my case, I want it to be below the catalog. So let's just put it there. Now to add the categories itself, click on the add menu item again. And now we will name this based on your categories. So my first one will be skincare. So just type that in and then tap on this box again. Choose pages now. This is why the pages that we did a while ago is very important. In here, just choose the corresponding page for your category. So for this one, I'll click on skincare. Now we have to put it under the categories tab. Again, click on this one, the dots, drag it under the word category. But before you let go of the category that you are currently holding, slightly drag your cursor to the right and once the space is present, you can now let go of the menu. So just do that repeatedly to all of your categories. For this video, I'll just add accessories and I'm all done. Now to see if it worked, hover your mouse over the word online store and this icon should show. Tap on it and it will direct you to another tab. This is how your Shopify looks like. And as you can see, the category tab is here. And once we click on it, it will show the skincare and accessories category that we added. So now we are on the last step and that is how to add products into the page. So go back to the first tab, click on themes. It is still under the online store. Once it's loaded, click on the customize button and you will then be directed into this editing page. And then click on the category menu. The drop down menu will show and then click on the first category. So this is how our skincare page currently looks like. And to add product, head over to the template part and then click on add section. Here you can choose if you want to add a collection or you can add a featured product as well. So for example, if you click on a collection, a featured collection, then this will show. I don't have any featured collection, so this is how it looks like. This is just a sample, but your products from featured collection should appear here. Now, if you don't like a collection and you just want to show a big preview of a product, just choose the featured product. And as you can see, this page has a product now. So just repeat this process to add another one and then just do it repeatedly until you show every product that you want to include in every category page. So that is how to add product categories in Shopify. Do let us know if this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.